I think this is the piece is that a lot of therapists haven't been taught how to track their outcomes or to know if what they're doing is working. They have this like general sense that things are trending in the right direction. And it still blows my mind. We will teach therapists how to just have a conversation and ask the question, hey, how did you feel when you started therapy? How do you remember what that looked like? What does life look like now? What is different? And therapists are con consistently blown away by what their clients tell them because they were never taught to ask, is what we're doing working? And that is just shocking to me. And what's really lovely is when therapists say, well, I don't, I don't know how it would be helpful to, I can't see the bigger picture. When they have these conversations, start to hear these, hear this with clients, then it starts to give them the words and the confidence to move forward. Because I think there is something about, well, the research shows this, but like, is that true for me? And when you have your clients saying, wow, I've been able to reduce my medication. My blood pressure is down. Um, you know, my endocrinologist is like absolutely impressed because they can see my stress levels down and now my autoimmune condition. Like when you can have those conversations with your clients and let them teach you <laughs> what you're doing, right. But you have to have the conversations you need to really settle in and not be so scared to hear negative feedback that you also don't hear positive feedback. But that's, that's a hundred percent. The case is I think, I think so many people are afraid to hear negative feedback and they're, they're afraid of rejection, mm -hmm. but like literally if you're marketing a therapy practice, one referral source can fill your therapy practice. Yes. And you might, you might need to hear 32 no's before you hear the one yes that changes your life. And